Morning, morning, morning. The blistery, looks like it's going to be a really wet day today here in Whitby. The weather says it's going to rain for the next four hours, so I'm starting to spit now, so I'm expecting it to belt it down, but hey-ho. Day two of collecting. After three weeks of being off, my legs hurt a lot. I'm feeling it, but being another big night of rough seas, so I'm expecting another reasonable day. Hopefully some good collecting, hopefully get some cannonballs, some dactyliosus, two, uh, two weeks startums out today. Maybe a few other bits, hopefully some bone. But I'm with Liam, so uh, where is he? He's somewhere over there. I'm with Liam, so the bone will probably go to him knowing him, because he's got more jam than Hartley's. But I'm still gonna go look for it. Told him last night, actually, I'm gonna uh, push him into a rock pool if he finds some bone and steal it. And then his reply was, I'll probably find some in there, which I wouldn't put it past him. So yeah, let's get started. Let's go find some stuff. We can collect it has begun properly. Let's go. Not tapped it open yet, but that is a stunner of a cannonball. Very good chance of an Elegantisaurus. Some markings here, don't know if that's just pyrite or maybe a keel. More than likely just pyrite layer, but we'll tap it and we'll see. Nice bed of uh, Elegantisaurus in a shale. All crushed. Never worth anything taking, but still nice to see. Well, looks in today. Got a few others in my bag, but another Tanui Costatum. Bloody cracking. Weapon. Even a bit of weird glistening calcite there. Very nice. Really good start to the day then. Got about four or five Tanui Costatums in my bag. That's not bad. I'm going to start heading round to the next bay now just to see what's there. We're, uh, I'm right round the corner from where that whale was. Oh no, I didn't film it actually last time. Yeah, there's a dead whale here. It's been rotting around for about five or six months last time we came, so I'm wondering if it's still here. Can't smell it yet, so it might have gone. I heard that a few vertebrae had washed up on the beach recently, so my guess is it's probably been scavenged or the sea's finally taken it out, but I'll video it and we'll see in a moment. I think I might have got my bays wrong. I think it's in the next one. So uh, I'll try again. <laughs> yeah, it's round here, I can smell it. <laughs> it smells absolutely vile. Horrific. See either that or something else, but there's not many things that smell as putrid as that. Oof. Let's have a look. I was right the first time. It's gone. Oh well. I was hoping to show you all that, but hopefully I don't have to ever again. Shame. Nice little multi. A few in there. A bit warm though. Probably not worth taking, but still nice to see. Leave that there for somebody. I'll tell you something, they do not get much more better beach prepped than that. Look at that. Both sides, wow. Pinpoint middle too. What a corker. Nice little uh, Ellie multi block. A little worn, but a bit of wax will bring the colour out in them. Be nice. Happy days. So Mr. Moore Jam with Hartley's got a big heavy bag to take back. <laughs> Go on, lad. There you go. <laughs> How is that? Very heavy. God, I don't envy you. <laughs> Poxy get. I really need to start filming more. Again, same as the last video. I ended up filming because I've just had a stupid good day, enjoying it. Show you all the stuff when I get back. Just on my way back now, I've got an absolute stunner of an Elegantisaurus. Really, really good quality. Pyrite nodule, fresh out of the cliff, so it'll, uh, it'll polish up really nicely. I'll find some stuff to show you from the collection on the way back. It's a bit good for the shortness of the video because Just gotta go with it and stop filming and just have a fun day collecting. 
I've got a very heavy bag. Liam's, well, you'll see in his video whenever he posts it, but he's found something absolutely stupid. It's, uh, it's good. Of course it's bone, because it's him. What do you expect? No bone for me today, but we'll carry on throughout the week. Something's bound to come up at some point. So, I'll see you when I'm home. Whew. That was a tiring drive home. I have to make this quick because it's starting to get really, really dark now. What time? I don't even know what time it is anymore. That's been a really, really good day. Jammy Boy obviously got the best find of the day, but I still got more than him. That's the main. That's the main thing. So I'll show you what I got now. Afterwards, seems I've noticed people have been commenting on the last video. Couldn't wait to see the big Hildoceros prepped. Obviously, got back last night from collecting. I started prepping it obviously immediately. It's almost finished, so I'll show you where it's at now. It's it's good. It's really, really good. So yeah, show you what I found now and then I'll show you that. So yeah, here's my bucket for the week that I'm going to be storing everything in. There's a few of today's bits. What have we got here? Uh, it's Dactylioceros tenuicostatum. This should be a really, really good piece. It's a uh, multi dac block. I think it's got at least two, maybe three running in. That looks high quality. What's in there? Another nice dac to put in there. Where's the other side of that? There it is. That's a gluer just to fit these, the, all this bit back onto there. Sometimes I if it splits across the middle, then I don't bother taking it. But if it's through the top, through the middle of them, I don't mind too much. So that shouldn't be uh, that shouldn't be too bad a job. Or in there. Hard to tell, but there's the outline of a keel of an ammonite, possibly another tenuicostatum. Brunswick Bay tends to be really good for that. First find of the morning, as you saw earlier on in the video, another Tanui Costatum. What else have I got? There's another Tanui Costatum that just needs gluing back. Another good one. Really nice DAC, that should prep out really nice and sit quite nicely. That'll be good. What else have I got? What else have I got? Just a DAC. Again, it's all really running the video, but perfectly beats prep DAC. What have we got here? Another DAC. A bit worn around the edges, I think, but might be a good middle there, so I'll take that. Another DAC. I'm in DAC's galore at the minute. Another Tanui Costatum. Really good quality one, that one. Nice middle on it and all. Really good. Bit of a weird, uh, weird looking DAC. I think it split bad down the middle there, but it'll almost all be there. An absolute belter of a DAC. Look at that. You don't get much better than a split like that. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Split's perfect. Just what you need. Happy days. So yeah, been a good day. Another one that I found earlier on. Nice little Elegantisaurus multi. I think there's going to be a few more in there, so uh, that should end up being good. A little worn, but a bit of wax on them. They'll be good as new. That can go in the bucket. And then right at the end of the day, I see this nodule. Teeny little Ellie there. Another one underneath. Looked like possibly one there, but I'm not sure. But somebody just left it like that, so you know, obviously I decided to hit it. What pops out? Nice big sized Elegantisaurus. Really pyritic cannonball nodule. That'll polish up on the back really, really well. That'll be all golden once I'm finished polishing it. That might even make it into my collection, that I'm not sure yet. So yeah, beautiful stuff. So yeah, as you saw, really bit, really busy day. Nice hefty-ish bag. I've had heavier, but it's good, good, to, uh, good to get a bag like that. So yeah, I'll show you the big Hildy now. It's, uh, it's really, really good. I think I've still not measured it, so I'll probably measure it after I've finished this video just to make sure, but I think it's seven inches, maybe even a touch higher or a touch lower, not sure yet. So yeah, check this out. So yeah, that's all you could see yesterday, just a bit of keel. Flip her over, don't flip it, flip it. Bush, look at that. Monster of a Hildy. Nice bit of matrix on the outside just to... Uh, to make it a little bit better 
that's going to end up being a beast that once it's finished really pleased with how that's come out all their middles more or less all their tiny little bit missing but once some wax on there you won't even notice it yeah that is a whopper very very pleased with that got had a few big hildies but that's uh, that takes the biscuit got another seven inch one in the shed actually that i need to finish up yeah not a bad day guys not a bad day so yeah hope you all enjoyed back's a little sore today but that's nothing new so uh back out again tomorrow possibly gonna go sand's end i'm not 100 percent certain yet i really want to find some bone while i'm off that's my main goal at the minute so tomorrow bone that's what i'm after i'm going for it I told liam i'm gonna push him in a rock pool almost did today when he found that bloody thing but i'll let him show that when he uh once he's posted the video of it but yeah tomorrow should be another good day and i'll uh, i'll catch you all on the next video if you like the videos and all that then you know like subscribe comment on my videos if there's anything that you'd prefer me to do you know video content prepping or anything i've not done any prep videos in a while but they take a while to do i come and go bits and bits and babs with flipping doing one thing and then moving on to another so the prep videos end up being a bit of a pain but if you all like them i'll do more of them should have some should do some probably at some point in the week and probably gonna have at least one day off at some point so yeah Cheers for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one tomorrow.